everyone, um, I thought I would do an updated what's in my makeup bag for 2014. Um, so, this is my makeup bag. It is just clothes. Ted Baker, see through. I like it because it's see through because if anything leaks, you can wash it out. You know, you've had those, you have those fabric ones, but they leave those horrible marks on them. I just can't be dealing with that. So, this is just basically what I use on my face every day. It obviously changes a bit from eyeshadow or lipstick. I haven't put any lipsticks in it because that's, I normally don't have lipsticks in my makeup bag. Um, but, so let's get started. Just picking up randomly. Chanel loose powder. This is what powder I, if I set my foundation, this is what I would use for a powder. And it is in 30 Natural Translucent 2. But you get a lot of product there. I really like that. My Chanel foundation. Vitalumia Aqua in B40. Um, primer. If I use enough foundation, uh, this is the Hydra Veil by La Masca, the one that looks like, I'm sure everyone's seen it before. The jelly one. And if I'm using that primer, then I'd use my La Masca Skin Based Foundation. That, and mine is in shade SB08. Oh, is that? Oh, skin base, oh wait. Mm. Yes, like that. I'm just getting back into using this uh, foundation as I am obviously quite pale at the moment. Um, I've been using this because that's more my shade. But I do like it. Um, oh, this is quite dirty. Because the packaging on this I don't like because it's it needs to be shiny so it's sort of matte and it sort of tracks the dirt. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, blusher I have been using and I love um, hair enough um, Illamasqua Velvet Blush in Peaked and it is this so it's like a cream but then it sets I haven't actually put the on because I couldn't find it earlier now this is going to be awful because I'm not actually using a mirror I really like it. Foundation brushes are real techniques. Um, cool collection. Cool. What is this called? No, it's not in the cool collection. That's the other one. This is the foundation brush. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll leave it somewhere here. I'm sure you'll know what it's called anyway. Just put out my head. Highlighter, soft and gentle. It is my favourite highlighter. It just looks beautiful on the skin. I am wearing it today. Just really easy to put on. Oh, my moisturiser, the Eucerin uh, Repetition Face Cream. It's not my usual time. Um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion that everyone uses. This is just the original one. Um, Two eyeliners, Bobbi Brown Violet Ink Gel Liner. There it is. That colour. That's my dinner table. Making noise. Then just the um, Clinique True Black Liner. I just dropped it. Um, True Black Liner. And then I have a lovely dirty eyeliner brush. Should have thought about doing this earlier. But it's this, and is this is for um, Crown Brushes. Really good eyeliner brush. I got the Laura Mercier one, but this is actually the the bristles are shorter, the same sort of th thickness, but they're a bit shorter, and I like them. That is what I've used today. Um. What should I do next? Do mascara. I'm loving the falsies. I've heard so much about it, never used it, and now I really, really like it. 
but as well I do I have a trial little sample of Chanel uh, Le Volume de Chanel love the accent do you? no <laughs> I can't speak much um, it's like that. I really like it um, but I don't know if I like that one more than that one obviously there's a hefty price tag that is the brush oh concealer Bobbi Brown Bisque Corrector empty the collection 2000 in medium three that. um did you see that there's a new packaging um of these and that they haven't had in the stock for ages i'm like trying to scrape the last bit out but then they they had some the other day they had new packaging but i forgot it yet then the L'Oreal Lumi Magique, then number two, just one of the highlighting ones that I put underneath the eyes. And the elbow. Then my concealer brush by Eco Tools. It's like this. It's just a domed like concealer brush. Then Eco Tools angled brush. Then I have three dirty oh, i'll show you this one because it's not dirty three um two one sevens well one isn't a two one seven this one is one from crown brushes um but it's not as good as the max two one seven then i have the pencil brush can't remember the number and then the shadow brush can't remember the number I have a uh, Naked 3 Urban Decay brush, a Super Eye, super, super Liner Brow Artist by L'Oreal, that one, I got it in the darkest one, Dark Brunette, and literally all I do is fill in as best as I can, I have a gap here, and then make them a tiny bit longer. Because sometimes I feel like eyeshadow doesn't, you can't really elongate with that because it just sort of like washes off with you, the pencil, it sort of, sort of stains the skin. Not stains, but like does the skin with the eyeshadow, it just sits between the hair. Um, and a powder brush is what I normally use for my powder, the Real Techniques setting brush. is the Matte Eye Shadows by Too Faced. Normally I have a naked basics palette because that's what I do most of my stuff with but I just can't see. My camera is full of battery. That was the end of the video. Um that was everything. Um hope you enjoy. See you soon. Bye!